Hi, I'm Nakanya Godwin, and we're here at the Morganton Lenore Airport. Okay, that was Danny. Danny flies in every Friday from Wilkes County for his hamburger hot dog. He's been flying for about a year. We have the fly in every single uh, Friday. We've had as many as 105 people come in for the free hamburgers and hot dogs. Of course, sometimes they buy fuel, which is very good, and uh, it supports the fly-ins. As you can see today, the ramp is absolutely filled. Um, it's a beautiful day out here in the uh, beautiful fall. The leaves are beginning to turn now. We were just over Table Rock, took a scenic flight down the gorge and over Lake James and uh, the South Mountains are beautiful. Big patches of red on the mountains to the north of us. Grandfather is beautiful and you can see grandmother back in there but Hawksville has got big patches of the red and uh, yellow leaves now with the beautiful blue sky, North Carolina blue. We have people coming in from Asheville. We uh, Cliff Quisenberry who turns 90 next year flew in from Virginia. He flies down here about every two weeks. Uh, Vanderplow is from uh, South Carolina flew in from this, so they fly in from all over the place. And our, we're very proud of our airport. And Nikki asked about who this airport belongs to. It belongs to the citizens. It's 95% federally funded, 3% state and local brings in 2%. We're a regional airport. We have room to expand. Uh, there's no end to the future of this airport. We have one of the top airport authorities in the nation as far as I'm concerned. So we have jets, that, uh, freight aircraft that leave out of this airport a couple times a week flying to Mexico with freight. We have uh, aircraft that are corporate coming back into uh, this airport to bring people into Blowing Rock to see the leaves. Of course, we're very popular during the ski season. We have 5,500 foot runway, which is adequate for just about any aircraft that would want to come in. These boys that are taxiing in right now are from Ashe County. Uh, these are all general aviation aircraft, uh, single engines. In the big hangar down at the end, we have storage room for the jets that come in for overnight, and then we have several jets based here. Uh, we are full service. Uh, some of our fuel prices are the best in, in this North Carolina, and that's because we do a volume on fuel. This is one of the best places to learn to fly because we can be airborne in five minutes after the student has uh, checked out in the airplane. Uh, we, uh, you have to have 40 hours to get your license. We have students all the way from 12 to 13 years of age all the way up till their late 70s. And I've had students in their 80s that have learned to fly. Age is not a factor. 40 hours of flying, 20 of that with an instructor. I do rent the aircraft out. I have two Cessna 172s I rent out. Don't rent out Samantha the Swan. She's my seaplane. You'll see her out on Lake James. And uh, today would be a perfect day for it because it was glassy water, just really beautiful. We do a little bit of ground school right before we fly, a little bit of ground school afterward. They'll have about 15 hours of ground school, but it's also self-learning. So that's up to the student if he's willing to uh, put the book work in. It's not difficult at all. It's just different. I've had 12 year olds that have read the entire book in a the summer. They said it's, it's not difficult. It's just different. They've never studied about weather, uh, studied charts and navigation and they love it. General aviation is picking up now because uh, the airlines are having a little trouble. Uh, the TSA, people waiting in line, people want to go. We have 5,300 airports in the nation. You can basically, in, in North Carolina, we have 76 airports. We share this airport with Caldwell, so there are some counties that share, but you can basically fly into almost every county in North Carolina. We have 60,000 private airports. 20,000 of them are on the charts, and another 40,000 that, uh, that aren't on there that are privately owned, but you can a lot of times get permission to fly in there. So you can go about anywhere you want to go, when you want to go, and your bags arrive at the same time. Man has always wanted to fly. You know, they've, they've tried. We've tried to emulate the birds. We watch the birds, see what they do. And uh, we fortunately, we are flying now and we can fly. It, it's only the beginning.
It's only the beginning. We've come out. It's so much easier to learn to fly now than it was. I, I started flying in the 70s, and we had to do a lot of our own weather. We had to do all our own navigation. Now we've got help from air traffic control. We've got weathermen. We've got beautiful aircraft out there to fly. Uh, GPS is on most all airplanes now, so it's a lot easier, a lot more fun. Uh, but then again, we don't forget the basics. They learn how to navigate as if we had no electrical on board. We've got an airport authority that believes in general aviation, and they are promoting general aviation. They, as you can see right now, this is this is the airport authority's idea. Come in here, have have lunch, bring you in, show you what we've got. We have um, hangar spaces here, tie downs. We have excellent maintenance on this airport. We've got the approaches. We've got three GPS approaches, a localizer approach uh, for instruments. We're getting lighting. We've become a favorite in the state of North Carolina. Uh, the state sponsored a pilot fly-in last year educational program, gave us the money to do it. We had airplanes from all over come in here. We are not landlocked. We are working on keeping the zoning so that we don't have to uh, encroach on people's homes. Uh, right now, the cows and the agriculture are the main things around here. We don't bother anybody. People don't even know that this is such a popular airport. It's so secluded. It's, so, it's yeah. We're six miles from Morganton, six miles from Lenore, and we both share it. And that's where you want an airport. But right now, and this is uh, October of 2010, our fuel prices are stable, so the rate is 150 an hour, and that's three people in the plane. And uh, there are no yellow lines up there, so they can go wherever they want to go. But generally, one of the favorite things is go right between Table Rock and Hawksville, turn south and go down the gorge, and then over Lake James follow the Catawba back up to Morganton, find your house, your church, or your walk. We want for the public to see our airport, to come out and find out about how important this airport is to this community. The economic impact of having an airport here is huge. This is basically probably between a 40 and a 50 million dollar airport that supports industry. Many of the industries wouldn't be in here if we didn't have it. And uh, that's, we can attract industry because we have an airport. We have, you know, I-40 and an airport's what you need.